Behind me here at Whitby, there are two piers. Tate Hill Pier on the far side of the harbour and West Pier on this side. And their lights at night must have guided many a mariner away from danger towards the safety of the harbour. And although the lights must have saved many lives, this story is about the tragic death associated with the lighthouse on the West Pier. The light in it is now automated, but prior to the 1990s, a lighthouse keeper had to tend to the lamp to make sure it kept working. And during one stormy night, the lamp failed. The lighthouse keeper had to spring into action with a keen sense of urgency. He fought against the driving rain and battled against the fierce wind until he reached the lighthouse down the pier, by which time he must have felt exhausted and been absolutely drenched. But then he got to climb the steps to the lamp at the top, probably feeling his way in the dark, and at the same time, no doubt, dripping rainwater onto the steps from his long coat. At the top, he used his skill to fix the lamp and then must have felt that it was safe to come back down. Well, who knows, because there wasn't anybody there to witness this. But it's understandable if his legs were shaky. The steps had been dripping rainwater onto them. And it's thought that that is why he slipped. And tumbled bang, 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 right down to the bottom which is where his battered and lifeless body was found the next day. Visitors to that lighthouse have sometimes said that for a fleeting second, they glimpsed the body of a man blocking the bottom of the stairway. the ghost of the brave lighthouse keeper. He'd lost his life, but he probably saved other lives through his brave actions. If you like ghost stories, check out the Facebook page of Ghost Keeper of York. There's also the website www.ghostkeeper.co.uk. But that's not the end of the story. Some people who go for a stroll down the pier after dark have been startled when a man in a long oilskin coat has dashed past them down the pier towards the lighthouse. I heard that one couple thought it was somebody, some rude person not properly socially distancing because he got so close to them. But when they reached the spot where they should have, picked, have caught up with him, there was nobody there. It must have been really weird that. <laughs>